What's going on everyone? Welcome to Feature Friday. Of course, my name is Bobby and I hope you're having a very merry Friday, one of the last ones of the year. This week we're going to be talking about an update to our API documentation that has been in the works for a long time, but it, it's finally ready and I hope it's something everyone can get excited by, about. It's definitely a lot more accessible than our API documentation used to be and uh, yeah let, let's check it out so if you head to the admin screen and then scroll all the way down there is now a new API section and if you hit documentation it'll take you to a page that looks like this and one of the really cool things that this allows you to do is you can actually play with your account through your uh, through the API from this page directly so that you can mess around with it and if you're new to how a RESTful API works learn how to use it or even maybe start to write some cool new add-ons things that you need for your shop or things that will uh, make customer entry for example easier to do or maybe even want to look information up so to get things started what you need to do is you need to have your subdomain of which you can get from the URL when you're logged into Repair Shopper, and then you're also going to need your API key. You can get that by clicking on your username and then profile and password. Now I'm not going to do that because y'all don't need my API key, but again if you click on your username inside of Repair Shopper and then click on profile and password, your API key will be displayed in red and you can copy that. Once you have the API key copied, come over here to click and click authorize and on a little pop-up that comes up you can paste your API key in and then hit authorize and it should log you in. Uh, if there's an error uh, go back and copy your API key one more time making sure there's no white spaces or anything like that. It's pretty straightforward once you hit log in your page or the instance of this page will be logged into your API and real quick that's really important to note. While I have my API key and my subdomain plugged in, as long as this page stays open, it's going to remain logged in. As soon as I close this page though, the instance also closes. So if I were to come back to it, I'd have to do enter in the subdomain and the API key again. It's effectively like logging into the account. And also, quick shout out, API keys, super private. Don't share them with anybody. Uh, it effectively gives them full access to an account. So yeah, don't show them to anybody. But uh, enough of that. Let's look at what the API docs can do. And you can notice, of course, yes, it's colorful and there's a lot going on here. But as you can see here, I have a get opened up for a client. And to do that, I just clicked get. And then I'll hit cancel to start it over. You'll want to hit try it out when you want to try an API query. And in this case, I just looked up a customer, um, Hal Jordan. Uh, surprise, shocker, I'm a comic book nerd. Who would have guessed, right? Anyway, uh, if you click execute, you'll see down here it'll load and then you'll get a curl as well as a request and uh, the output for, uh, for that particular customer lookup. So pretty cool stuff. Again, do not give out your API key. That would be bad. Yeah, you can also access the directions to use uh, the API documentation in our knowledge base. The article uh, is pretty thorough about how to actually use the API, um, but if you have any questions or comments, please let support know and we'd be happy to help out. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'll see you in the next one.